Hey crew, Matt here. So we're uh, here at the shop. We're gonna start breaking down these uh, these pulleys off of our pick and boom here. So yeah, we'll go ahead and take them apart and we're gonna sandblast them, get all this crusty old paint off them. And then we're either planning on having them metalized at, the, at one of the shops here in town or we're just gonna end up putting some fresh paint on them. Either way, they'll look a lot better than they are now. So uh, yeah, we'll get started on that. This pin's pretty crusted out, so I'm not gonna worry about saving it. Just a regular Old cheap pin anyway. We might even end up putting some uh, bolts back in this side because we just have these uh, crusty uh, flip pins. I don't know what you call them, but got a little thing there just to flip down. Tough to get out of there. Yeah, that pin is definitely wrecked now. And we do have a socket set, but it's in use right now, so, <laughs> so bear with me here. Alright, easy as that. Grease ring there, so I'll go ahead and degrease these uh, body pieces. Get all that crust off there. And uh, take apart the other five. And then we'll take them to the sand blaster. All right, so that's all of them taken apart. So we'll go ahead and go rig up the sand blaster. So we haven't used this since last summer, so might have to clean it up a little bit. And it's been sitting outside in the elements. So not really sure what to expect here. Put water in there. <laughs> All right, well, it's a little soggy. All right, so this is our uh, sand blaster here. So we connect compressed air to right here, and then down the hopper here, 
inside we just uh, pour the the medium the blasting medium or uh, blasting media down there is a sort of suction line and the compressed air just creates a vacuum and makes it suck up through the hose and blast out of that nozzle there it's getting a little late so I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow and hopefully it'll be sunny out but if not then probably just drag this out and get cleaned up so we'll just go ahead and close this for now filled up with water here. Alright, so we're back at the uh, blast cabinet here. I'm going to start cleaning it up, cleaning it up and uh, replace the, the pr protective screen on the window. So we got some uh, some old media here. It's just gooey and wet from sitting out here this winter. So I'll go ahead and vacuum that stuff up. Yeah, okay. I think that'll mostly get it. Okay, so I was just replacing the uh, film we have on the window here. We just had a piece of plastic taped on over the glass so that it didn't etch the glass. Well, I'll call that good. All right, so I've got cleaned up here. Uh, got the hoses blown out and stuff. So I'm just putting a little bit of the sandblasting powder in here. I don't know the exact brand of it or anything. But it's some stuff that came with the cabinet, so it's got bits and pieces of it in it and uh, we just have a piece of uh, regular wire mesh here and you just kind of pour it on top like that and you can more or less strain it out don't breathe that as you can see catches the big bits which would end up clogging your gun works really nicely all right, so here we go. We're about to blast these first few off and uh, I'll bring you back after. Might be able to see through the window, but I'm not sure with the reflection, so. Pretty sure I didn't strip the whole thing down last time. I just took off the loose stuff. It fogs up in there pretty quick. Yep.
it up. We'll call that one good. All right, so I'll carry on here and bring you guys back after. All right, so there's the first ones, the smaller ones. As you can see, it really just takes them down to bare metal and go as far as taking all the old paint off, but it's fine. Just getting the heavy rust flakes and uh, rust off the bare metal painted up afterwards. So yeah, that's that process. I'll finish these last ones, the bigger ones there, and uh, I'll bring you back once we're once we're done with the painting part. All right. So we're back inside here. Just gonna start painting on these guys. Got a little bit of this primer. Just gonna slap some of that on and let it cure overnight. And tomorrow we'll get some real paint on them. Nothing fancy, just getting a good little coat on it. Alright, so we're all done with the primer coat here, so I guess we'll be back in the morning to put the black on them. So. Alright, so we have some uh, blue paint here, it's the same color as our boat trim, so we're going to go ahead and use that on our pulleys. Give her a little mix here. Alright, so those are painted, uh, we'll go ahead and let them dry up here and get one more coat on them and I'll bring you back once I start reassembling them. Alright guys, so we're just uh, back here in the shop, I'm gonna go ahead and put these uh, pulleys back together and then we'll be able to take them back into the boat and put our pick and boom back up. Okay guys, so here we go. All done. Pulleys restored. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and bring these down to the boat later and get our pick and boom raised back up. I didn't grease these yet, but we have marine grease on the boat, so we'll just pump them full down there. And they should be good. Good to go.
Okay guys, so we're just down here, putting the pulleys back on this pick and boom and also splicing up the lines for it. shackles so they somehow become loosened over time. Pretty cheap insurance method. some grease into these guys here. Uh -huh. Pumping grease. Well that's all for this video. I recorded us raising the boom on the previous video so if you want to see that go check it out. Uh, be sure and like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.